Hi, and welcome to another edition of 5-Minute Finance, where we help you understand complex financial concepts and news in just five minutes or less. I'm Larry Mendrink, Certified Financial Planner, Accredited Investment Fiduciary, and Founder of Park Lake Advisors. Today, we'll be discussing a topic that's often overlooked, but incredibly important, planning for your funeral. Most people don't like to think about their own funeral, but it's essential to have a plan in place to ensure that your final wishes are carried out. One way to plan for your funeral is by writing a letter of instruction. A letter of instruction is not a legal document, but it's a letter written by you that provides additional and more personal information regarding your estate. It can be addressed to whomever you choose, such as the executor, family members, or even beneficiaries. Think of it as a cheat sheet to your estate. So what should you include in your letter of instruction? First, you'll want to include the location of important legal documents, such as your will, insurance policies, titles to your automobiles, deeds to your properties, and more. You should also include a list of your financial assets, including savings and checking accounts, stocks, bonds, and retirement accounts. It's important to include account numbers, pins, and passwords where applicable. Next, a list of pensions or profit sharing plans, including the location of their explanatory booklets, can be included in your letter of instruction. It's also a good idea to include the location of your latest tax returns, social security statements, as well as any safety deposit boxes and their keys. Lastly, your letter of instruction is a great place to leave burial or cremation wishes. You should consider giving your location of your cemetery plot if you have one. You may even wish to specify which hymns or speakers you would like included in your memorial service. Although a letter of instruction is not legally binding, your heirs will probably be glad to know how you would like to be remembered. It's also helpful to leave a list of contact information for people who should be notified in the event of your death. Writing a letter of instruction is not something most of us want to think about, but it is a vital step in ensuring that your final wishes are respected. There's no best way to write a letter of instruction. It can be written in your style and reflect your personality, or it can be written to simply convey information. You should decide what type of letter fits your estate strategy. Planning for your funeral can be an emotional and difficult process but it's important to remember that by doing so, you're taking care of your loved ones and making things easier for them during a very challenging time. A letter of instruction can help make the process smoother and ensure your final wishes are carried out. That's it for today's episode of Five Minute Finance. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us via email at info at or by phone 517 9905. Don't forget to, su to subscribe to our pack podcast or if you're watching on YouTube, our YouTube channel. Be sure to follow Park Lake Advisors on social media platforms such as Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter for more quick financial bites. Thank you for joining and until next time, happy learning.